Thanks very much. It is 7.07 right now. The Dallas Mavericks hope to put the turmoil behind them and both on and off the court. They are a mm. troubled team. Right now, yeah. Fox 4's Mike Ducey joins us live with more. Good morning, Mike. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yeah, that Sports Illustrated uh, story was posted uh, Tuesday night last week, and, and it's been a really difficult, turbulent six days for that franchise uh, ever since. As you know, several women in that article alleging that uh, former Mavericks CEO Tradima Ussery had sexually harassed them in the Mavs' offices. Uh, Ussery left the franchise not quite three years ago. He, he denies the allegations in the article. Then there's the, the issue with former Mavs.com writer Earl Sneed, who was kept on the payroll even after uh, two separate events of alleged domestic violence. Now, Mavs owner Mark Cuban says that he regrets not handling the Sneed situation differently, but Cuban says he did not know about the alleged ussery behavior. The Mavericks have launched an investigation into allegations in the Sports Illustrated story, and later today, Cuban will introduce a new interim CEO, Cynthia Marshall, who recently retired as the chief diversity officer at AT&T. Cuban clearly in damage control mode here. What will all of this mean eventually for Cuban? He, he claims to know everything about his franchise, but now claims he did not know about some important information. Well, last night at Sports Sunday, Ed and I talked with Brian Damaris. He now works on the ticket as the Mavericks post game show host, uh, but he worked in the franchise from 2000 to 2004 in the Mavs scouting department. He's known Mark Cuban for a long time, and from Damaris, we got some of his perspective. I think Dirk had it right where it's just, you know, it's disgusting, to be honest with you. And, you know, I think first and foremost, uh, you know, I applaud those who came forward. I, I, I feel for them. I'm sad that they had to have to have it happen to them in the first place, have to relive it through going through this and continue to deal with it. Um, and, you know, as someone who worked there, um, you, you feel disappointed that that, that happened and, and tarnished, you know, the, the Mavs. But uh, I think that Mark is doing the right things to kind of rebuild that trust. Brian Damaris, who worked in the Mavericks uh, scouting department uh, for a couple of years over a decade ago, he says he didn't personally witness any of the behavior that was reported in the Sports Illustrated uh, story. So, so, guys, now you ask, you know, what's next for, for this team and, and for Cuban? What sort of penalties uh, could be in the offing? The NBA commissioner, you know, has a lot of latitude here. You know, he could, he could levy a large fine. You know, theoretically, Cuban could be suspended depending on, on the outcome of this investigation. You know, some have speculated that maybe he could even lose the franchise. I think we need to tap the brakes there. It is important to note that Cuban in, in this article was never directly accused, and nobody's accusing Cuban uh, of personally being involved in any sort of harassment, nor are any players involved, nor are any coaches. But it's those players and coaches who are the only ones we've heard from on camera so far. You've heard the Dirk soundbite and, and Rick Carlisle talking about it as well. And we'll hear, hear more from those guys uh, tonight when the Mavs play their first home game since this story came down. They host Indiana tonight. And, um, you know, originally this was the, the night, the big angle tonight was going to be the fact that that former Mavs uh, owner, the first owner, Don Carter, who passed away recently, was going to be honored tonight. That'll still be a big, big part of the story, but unfortunately it'll be over, overshadowed by a, a lot of other stuff here this evening. So interesting yeah. uh, times continue for this franchise as they return to the home court tonight. And they're a lousy team, and it, that just <laughs> makes it worse. Yeah. Oh, by you, the way, you could, yeah. Right yeah, now. Yeah, you, could, you could almost, like, you wouldn't have overlook allegations like this, but... That just seems to make it worse. They're incompetent both on and off the court. Well, here's the thing. It, it, what's funny about last Tuesday is early in the day, the biggest story seemed to be the fact that Mark Cuban had admitted during right. a podcast with Julius Irving that the team was losing on purpose to get a better draft pick. It's gotten that it's gotten that bad. But then that story was put on the back burner when the Sports Illustrated story came down. But mm -hmm. whether they're trying to lose or not, they're, they are a bad team. and It's going to be a while before they're a good one. That's for sure. A lot of things to work on. No. Absolutely. Thank you, Ducey. Thanks.